Here's a typical construction question where they're asking you to draw a triangle given just the lengths of the sides. So we can't use a protractor for this. We're needing to use a ruler and compasses. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So the first thing that you need to do is draw the base of your triangle. And I would suggest that it's nearly always the simplest thing to do is to draw the longest measurement as your base. So let's do that. So we want one that is six centimeters long. So that's our base. So now we're going to need the compasses to draw the other two sides. So let me activate the compass here. And then we need to move that compass down here. Whoops. And uh, so I'm going to do the four centimeters first of all. So first of all, I need to measure it. Meters there. OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use that to draw an arc from that end. So now I'm going to move the compass to the other end. And this time I need it to be five centimetres. So let me just go here. But it needs to be five centimetres. So again, now I've got it the right length. I'm going to arc with it. So this crossover point is where we're going to join up to the ends of our baseline. There, up to there. And then we join other end sorry it's a, not perfect but it is more or less there and so if you were to measure those sides now you've got a four centimeter side and a five centimeter side and we've constructed our triangle common question you're going to come across is needing to construct the perpendicular bisector between two points so i'm going to pick this point here and this point here. We're going to need to use the compasses to do this, but let me first explain what a perpendicular bisector is. So a perpendicular bisector is a line that will go halfway between these two points, that's the bisector part, but it will be at right angles to the line that you could draw through those two points, that's the perpendicular bit. So let's use the compasses to do that. I'm going to bring the compass down onto one of the points and then we're going to make it the same length as between those. So now we're going to use that to do an arc this way and an arc down below. And now I'm going to move that to the other end and bring it around. Let's double check that it's still the right length. Yep, I'm going to do an arc up and down. And we've found out now where they cross. So our perpendicular bisector we will get by joining up the two intersection points, starting here going down to where it crosses here. Okay, so that's the perpendicular bisector. Let's see if I can sort of prove that with using the ruler here. So we're going to line the ruler up to be like a fake line, if you like, between two points. Now we're going to bring the protractor out and line that up with the line that we've just drawn and there you go you can see it is exactly 90 degrees to the line through the point so it's the perpendicular bisector now there are a couple other ways that you might be asked to do this perpendicular bisector 
So the first way that we're going to have a look at is when you're given a line and you've got to bisect two points on that line. So let's first of all draw ourselves a line. And then I'm going to pick this as being the point on the line that we're interested in. OK, so we need to do the perpendicular bisector between the point here, which I'm going to call A, and the end of this line, which is B. So in order to do that, we're going to use the compasses again. And just as we did before, we're going to set them up so that they're the same distance. as the distance between those two points. Then we're going to arc up and down, move it to the other end, going to arc that's right length first of all, and then we're going to arc there and there. And then we can join up third perpendicular bisector question I'm going to show you. This time we're going to have a line and we're going to have a point but the point won't be on the line. Okay and we'll be asked to draw the, the line that is perpendicular from that point through the line itself. So let's first of all draw, draw ourselves a line again. And then I'm going to pick this point up here. So it's kind of almost a reverse process, but we're going to use those compasses again. And we're going to, first of all, get the length right from there to this end of the line. And then what we need to do is we need to swing it round and find where it crosses here. So this effectively becomes the other point like on the previous example I've just shown you. And so now we've got that, we'll need the compass again. So we've got our point at the top. What we're going to need to do now is get the arcs below so that we can join up and get that perpendicular line through our initial line. So we're going to arc down like that. I need to move it over here and then arc the other way. And now we're going to join up the crossover point with the initial point that we had up there. That has enabled us to draw that perpendicular line to the original line that we've got going through the point that we were given to start with. As well as doing a perpendicular bisector, you may well be asked to do an angle bisector. So this will be if you've got two lines. So let's draw those in first of all. So let's say here's our first line and we'll have another line doing this. So what we need to do is work out how to bisect that angle, cut it in half. So we're going to use the compasses again here. So I'm going to drag it over to this point here. So the first thing, and it does, doesn't matter how long it is now, just shorter than the two lines that you've got, but you need to keep it the same length all the way through now this process. So the first thing we're going to do is arc this way to get the crossover point there and then arc down here. So now we're going to take the compass, keeping it the same length to the new point we've got there. And now we're going to arc here. 
move it down to there and arc there now what we're going to do to get our perpendicular bisector we're going to join where it starts here through to where it crosses there so let me have a go at using the protractor and see if we can prove that it's bisected the angle there so first of all we're going to need to know what angle we started with so i'm going to need to move this and get this lined up do with a real one okay and angle it a bit more that's better and okay not perfect but it's it's probably as good as i'm going to get at this moment so if we read this off going from the bottom line down here up to the big line up here we can see that is remember we need to be looking at the inside numbers because it starts at zero there so the inside zero lines there are telling me that that's an angle of 70 degrees so then we would expect our angle that we've bisected to be 35 and i think if you look at that i think you can see it pretty much is dead on 35 